Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is the Earth Prediction Series using the Psi cards devised under the cognitive influence of Carl Jung and the Archetypal Realm. So if you've been following the series you know that we draw the cards and we work from there and see what inference is ahead for the month. Now these are a global predictions so to do with the earth and people that live on earth and energies around it. So I pulled six cards usually and um, we just work through the interpretation of the cards. I've devised the interpretation myself and altered the original meanings. So this is for the final month of 2016, December. I'm late in uploading it. Time seems to be fleeting and it seems to be speeding by at a very great pace. I can hardly believe the end of the year is here. The first card is friendship. I shall lay the others face down. We'll put that one down there as an overall riding card. Friendship is a card of probably hidden agenda. There is something going on in this card that if you look at the very um, right hand side of it, there is a hidden person coming into the scene that is not yet there and we don't know if that is friend or foe. So it can be someone or something that alters the agenda of the people that are surrounding the table. Now sometimes these people can be um, formatting something or coming together to make a plan or a structure for something in the future. So depending on whether the unseen influence is friend or foe will depend on how the course of what these people are putting together, how it will change. If it's a friend it will probably change for the better and better suggestions will be raised from it. If it's a foe, it will bring negative inferences into these projections or plans. I often think of this around the political arena and it's no coincidence I guess that here in New Zealand two days ago our Prime Minister gave a shock resignation. He's about to leave his role and at the same time the Italian Prime Minister has just resigned I think this is a period in particular in this December month and merging into the new year of 2017 that we will see some very um, immense changes coming forward at very many levels. Some of the better astrologers around have been predicting that this month December would be an extremely um, important if you like but one that indicates many changes coming in and that the, that December was uh, they've been viewing it from a long time out as being a very pivotal month for the way we move forward in the future and that lots of potential stuff is going on in the month. So the other thing that the friendship card can remind me of is those barrels up on the back behind the people are actually alcohol barrels but they make me think of um, explosives you know dynamite and sometimes this can be explosive energies around people or situations or political parties or countries but it can also be literal explosive energy so big booms you know um, something blowing up fire and explosions so let's see what the next card is. The cave. The cave seems to often indicate retreat and hiding and trying to get away from something. The person in this cave here is, you know, hunched over in a fetal position, grasping the back of their head, almost covering themselves as if to say, I will not accept this, I will not face it, I don't want to be part of it. So it's as if you're denying something or you're hiding from something in particular. So I often think of this card as being um, when the need to be hiding yourself comes up. So when you have to go underground, like in the shelters in America when you have the 
the tunnels under your home to protect yourself from the big tornadoes that can come the trapdoor system it's possibly that type of thing so there's a possibility that we can see various events occurring that make people flee or hide um, underground not necessarily always underground but running or fleeing from a particular event oftentimes this can be weather related so we could see an increase or some big storm surges over this period of December that people are fleeing from or hiding from it can also be um, just a, a human-made events so that you feel as though you've got to hide or flee from something we might have to look further into the reading to try and figure out what that might be there's another indicator for us of being underground trapped or fleeing or stuck or locked in as well so the prison gives us that feeling very similar to the cave those two cards uh, sort of symbolically energize each other. They're two people sitting on the ground in a very trapped, dispatriot looking uh, position and they feel deflated and run out of energy and as if they have come to the end of a wall where there's nowhere else to go. But they have definitely run from something, they are stuck somewhere. There is a feeling of underground. Sometimes this can also be representative of volcanic activity or underground quake activity. I note too that there's this massive ray of sun coming in, so I've often said in the past when this card turns up, not that it has turned up a lot, but that it can sometimes indicate unusual activities or anomalies with or around the sun. Now given that the sun has you know, a huge inference on the activities on earth, especially around storms and earthquake related and volcanic related activity there could be something in the month of December that bodes quite big activity so it's either like coronal mass ejections or coronal holes or something else that comes to our attention about the sun that affects us here on earth the union card while it's very pretty to look at it symbolizes again this rapid flowing water so we think of severe storms, heavy storms, lots of rain um, and especially things like mud flows through these heavy rains or when rivers break their banks and go surging through cities or towns. So you can see the, the collapsing of structures and just this rapid, rapid flow, almost like an inland tsunami. So I think that up until now that has been predominantly the major feel of the energy of this card so usually pretty strong severe weather anomalies and I have seen these two together the union and the cave before when weather anomalies or very severe storms crop up on our radar The Beast, another underground one guys, so we've really gone underground for the month of December. So if we extend our thought process here and we remove it from just say speculative weather issues and, or uh, volcanic or quake related, we come to the feeling of why is it there's something about us as humanity that's pushing us underground. So something that we've either running from or hiding from or changes that are coming that we don't want to face or we don't want to address. So there's a possibility that some of this might be going on in December as well. So that globally a lot of people in mass are feeling as if they want to hide from something and, and not see an outcome or it's not an outcome that they wished to see. The other meaning of the beast card is quite often associated with communism we've got this the red beast so we think of communist countries such as North Korea um, China possibly Russia doing something that is uh, unusual or getting themselves in the headline one way or another that gets global world uh, activity or notification around them the beast also infers volcanic fire because it's red so it's and it also suggests underground so I am wondering if we see quite an increase in volcanic activ activity for the month of December it's got that particular feeling to it 
Another thing we talk about often is mass animal die-offs. We seem to see that in great frequency as the years have progressed since I've been doing this particular format of reading. So the beast, although he's a very strange animal, any time there's an animal in the card I often think of mass animal die-offs or animal stresses on the planet. So the last card for the month is the Inquirer card. Now normally I don't actually have that one in the deck because it's a little bit um, unusual. It, it doesn't necessarily have a great reference to the way I'm doing the readings because the Inquirer card refers to um, me because I'm the Inquirer doing the reading. So you, we could say it refers possibly to New Zealand in particular or activities going on in New Zealand and the fact that this looks very much like a maze or a puzzle there is that reference there so sometimes it could suggest to you that in this part of the world New Zealand or the neighboring countries there is a puzzle going on now we interestingly enough because it is December and I am a wee bit late in the reading had I have got this done perhaps a few days earlier I would have sort of said the same thing, there's some puzzle going on within New Zealand but we're well aware now that the puzzle most likely for us at the moment is the fact that John Key has resigned and we're left with a um, out of balance political party and no Prime Minister for a little while and um, the, that poli political arena within New Zealand will have to sort itself out so yes it is a puzzle. So because the card wouldn't normally be in the deck but it's really odd that it is and it's turned up I think even though we are a small country, our political agenda will still have an effect on monetary markets and create a degree of instability globally. So because as I say the Inquirer card wouldn't normally be there, I will pull one more off the top of the deck and place it down here. And interestingly enough that's the work card and we've just been talking about our Prime Minister and the politics, which is actually career and jobs and work related. The work card often to me symbolises big engines, so big machines or technology or engines that tr ship people around a lot, such as ships, aeroplanes, buses, boats, trains, that type of thing, that's what it looks like to me. So some of those vehicles could be involved in something negative within the month of December so there could be accidents or strange pieces of information around any of those particular vehicles. The other thing about the work card is it can literally mean for us that perhaps places of employment globally are making changes, there might be more redundancies than normally expected or there could be some unusual or startling news from some employers and they might be big global employers the other thing about the work card is it very much looks like time as well. It almost looks like the uh, wheels of a time machine moving. And of course we're coming up to the end of the year and transiting into 2017. So we are reaching the epoch of the end of a certain period of time and moving into a new year. But time feels as though it's altering lately, as if there's more happening, as if it's faster paced. So sometimes when this card comes out we see some sort of discrepancies or anomalies around time or um, scientific explanations or r relative discoveries to do with potential time references which could be parallel dimensions such as the work that is done in the, the field of quantum physics for example. So there might be some new directives coming from there or some pertinent new information. We can also look at those clogs or those um, big wheels spinning as being possibly planetarily looking bodies. So this, there may be something to do with the planetary alignment in December which I talked about a little bit before as being quite um, severe I guess or very poignant about how we move forward as the year progresses and the new year starts. So there we are guys, it's quite a colourful looking reading to look at across the spread. We definitely are seeing ourselves go underground a little bit and I guess we're going to sort that out more as we see December evolve. 
Love to hear all your comments and your own theories around the meanings of the cards. It's always great to hear other people's input. So thank you all for joining me. I wish you all a wonderful December. Be safe wherever you are and be happy and spread the love energy. So thanks guys. Take care. Catch you later. Namaste.